Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of H3DR. H3DR, yeah. Today we're taking a look at this pistol, the FN57. This is a pistol developed by FN in the late 90s, chambered in this cartridge, you might recognize this, from the P90 because it's the exact same cartridge. It's uh, the 57 by 28 I believe, millimeter PW, PDW cartridge. It uh, fits 20, I believe, in a mag. So uh, l let's go about some history. The, the, the 5.7 or the 5.7 millimeter cartridges in general, and the 5.7 and the P90 came about due to uh, a request by NATO because 9 millimeter they needed something more potent for armor piercing. So FN decided to develop the 5.7 cartridge. H and K decided to do something similar with their 4.6 millimeter cartridge and of course there's still a division about uh, what to use the Germans or whatever use 4.6 and some use 5.7 but uh, HK was also the, they developed the MP7 and were also developing a pistol FN they developed uh, the P90 and also pistol HK, H and K however never ended up developing a pistol however FN did release the 5.7 and uh, it's been adopted by several nations, it's used by the US Secret Service and some other people and uh, that's pretty much the history of this gun. So uh, this is a companion weapon to the P90, released in 1998. Yeah, I, I think uh, that covers it. I can't actually remember the operating mechanism on this thing. But regardless, it, it looks like uh, most other pistols. It has a simple underbarrel Picatinny rail for your lasers or whatever, or your American flag. Although this is Belgian, FNB Belgian. So, uh, without further ado, let's shoot it, I guess. The sights on this are nice and tall, as you can see. So you could probably pop a silencer on it and still uh, be able to use the sights. rounds in the magazine of course that was part of the requirements part of the requirements by FN was at least 20 rounds for the for the shoulder arm which would be the p90 and uh, no less than 20 rounds for uh, the pistol so 20 rounds in a pistol is uh, not bad of course if we take uh, let's just use this mag If we take a look at this round, and if we um, find us the ammo spawn panel, I, I actually want to, I usually don't do this, but I want to actually for once compare 9mm Parabellum with the... Uh, With 5.7 by 28. Here we go, 9mm parabellum. As you can see, it's significantly longer. If we can also rotate it. Actually, let's just place it down here. If we can. Or here. It's also significantly, uh, it has a significantly lower diameter, as you can see. So uh, it allows you to pop more rounds in the same vertical space. However, of course, the horizontal space means that uh, the grip is a bit longer than it could have been. Of course, I'm not holding this in real life, so I can't comment on how uh, this actually affects the handle. But that's one thing to keep in mind, having a longer pistol cartridge. Which is also part of why 9mm was so popular since it, it, it's short, it fits easily in a pistol. Unlike this, which is on the longer side of things, as you can see on the ma in the magazine itself. But, well, I do think that from the impression I get, this is a rather popular pistol. Uh, 
And of course, I haven't shot this real life, so I don't know how it is in real life, but I do say, I do love this gun in this game. The cartridge is nice and peppy. The pistol, it's... It looks like a pistol. It isn't particularly good looking. The sights are wonderful on it, though. Also, something I forgot to mention. It has a hidden hammer. Sometimes... Sometimes this style of hammer is called hammerless. I'm using double quotes because it, the hammer is still there, it's just concealed. Or covered is better word. Yeah, my best one yet. So, if you want, you can now sit with your P90 and your 5.7 to have your full 5.7mm loadout for your uh, tank crew or helicopter crew or whatever else kind of guy that would use these kinds of weapon crew. And I have to say, 20 round magazine on this is wonderful. And it isn't, doesn't stick out beneath the, the grip. I think those magazines look ugly. They're practical, but, practical, but they look fucking ugly. So, really this concludes this video. I do hope you enjoyed this quick little video on the FN57. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. Vote for the gun you want to see next in the poll in the description below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!